Well, despite challenging circumstances, land reform and ownership still a high priority for the government. You see, according to Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, just ahead of the COVID-19 pandemic, interest peaked from residents in the southern Bahamas to acquire Crown land. As of March 2020, the Department of Land and Survey prepared and finalized 49 Crown grants for Bahamians including on the islands of Inagua, Crooked Island, and Mayaguana. Now that some of the restrictions on travel concerning COVID-19 have been lifted, surveyors will be returned to the Michael, uh, the Michael Islands, and we will continue this important work to empower Bahamians through land ownership. The Prime Minister also acknowledging during his budget wrap-up on Monday that there is still a great need for temporary housing for residents in storm-torn Abaco and Grand Bahama. That said, legal residents in Abaco are eligible to apply for housing. But here's what's particularly important to keep in mind. The government will not allow the building or rebuilding of any shanty town. Opportunities will be given for individuals, as I Go through my presentation, you will see. But opportunities will be given for individuals within the Abaco community to purchase homes. The members of the Disaster Reconstruction Authority will, will meet with leaders of various communities to discuss the details of the housing program. The sites identified for permanent housing over in Abaco include two acres in Marsh Harbor and Wilson City. Central Pines, which is a public-private partnership with the Discovery Land Company and the government of the Bahamas, will be the site for the development of 46 homes and will be gifted free of charge to 46 families. According to the Prime Minister, while the infrastructure is already in, in the event there's a need for additional changes, the total cost of doing so will be divided among those 46 families. Now, a subdivision is also being developed in Murphy Town. For East Grand Bahama, members of the project management team of the Disaster Con Reconstruction Authority and Lands and Survey are on Grand Bahama evaluating the available properties for the development of permanent housing in Swedish, Sweden's Key, McLean's Town, and High Rock.